Welcome to everyone. Uh, my name is Maria Govardhashevili. I'm very pleased to welcome you at the first session of the special program that we have created to you together with Leonard Luisi, our coach. And uh, the program is um, called Create Your Comfort Yourself. This uh, four part series of session it will be very highly interactive learn by doing program and focus on practicing simple tips and tricks that really physical stress support emotional resilience improve your mindset and boost self confidence Leonard is prepared, uh, has prepared this program together with me and he's inspired by the energy will spring model and each in each session, you will discover or rediscover different ways to nurture innate ability to bounce back from challenging situations using your personal resources like physiology, mindset, feeling, and novel purpose. Um, Leonard is, uh, has already done uh, the, the session uh, to our personal and our colleague, but uh, today is the, the new situation. We are all at home, we are teleworking, and we need to be support remotely. So, um, as you have probably read in the invitation, Renard is the 20 years international career as professional classical ballet and contemporary dancer. This is her career before and he was exposed to environments of high expectation that called him for uh, to abilities to adapt, to grow and collaborate uh, while delivering results with purpose and integrity. So, um, so he struggled with physical injury and psychological stress. And through these life lessons, he developed a passion for bouncing back and building long-term motivation to succeed. So I will just give the floor to Leonard, who is going to introduce himself if I miss something. And uh, also to start this first session, and the first session will be focused on the physical aspect of our life, on our body. So how to be fit at your desk at home. So. The floor is yours. And I would like also to, to add, because it's very important to tell you that it will be recorded. So if you don't want to be uh, to be seen, you can switch off the camera because there are a lot of colleagues that they, that they couldn't join us, to, were not able to join us today. So they ask for recording and we'll send to all participants this session with also the support, the, 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 the PowerPoint presentation. So now really the floor is yours. Leonard. Thank you, Maria. Thank you. Hello, everyone. How, how is everyone today? Can you give me a thumbs up or, uh, you know, or use the reaction on the screen, type, type it in the chat. How is everyone feeling? So, 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 so. I see some people saying yes. Some, oh, my God, some people are not so good. Okay. So hopefully uh, after this session, after this hour, we're going to sort of change things around for you so that uh, you're moving up on the scale. Um, so thank you, Maria, for that introduction. Thank you for Hawa as well. For She's our uh, teammate here, uh, collaborating, making sure that the technical uh, issues are handled well and the chat. Um, about practicalities first, um, I, I, because there's so many of people, I don't know if everyone is accustomed to using Zoom, but it's very easy. On the bottom bar, you have microphone. You can, on the left-hand side, you have the microphone you can activate or not. You have your video, of course. You have in the middle, more to the middle of the chat, which I'll be asking you some questions and asking you to participate and contribute by chatting. And also you have, um, let's see what else you have, the reaction button right on the right hand side there, where you can uh, put your hand up or give me a thumbs up or something or a thumbs down if you like, uh, for that matter. And then on top right hand corner, there is a, a view button where you can have a speaker view or a gallery view where you can see everyone else as well at the same time. I personally would encourage you to put on the cameras because in this environment and time, uh, we are lacking uh, connection. And uh, when we put, um, yeah, okay, uh, 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 a face to the voice, when we see other people doing stuff with us as well, it gives us confidence, it makes us feel good. Huh? Uh, this idea of our social 
um, need or our social, um, it's a human need, it's a basic human need to con for connection and belonging. So cameras work, cameras work with me, okay? Yes, it'll be recorded, but then, okay, then it'd be, uh, um, if, you, if you don't feel very comfortable doing an exercise, then you can turn off your camera. But please, I invite everyone and encourage everyone to turn on your cameras. Great, having said that, I'm excited to be here today. The last time we did training, it was in uh, 2018, around about the same time. Time flies, the world moves on. <laughs> we have a different context now, different situations with the same issues, uh, the same issues and challenges and questions that we may have, uh, such as uh, how do I resource my body and my mind and my emotions and my humanity? Uh, how do I do that? How, what's the best way I can build my resilience and my autonomy within this, uh, within this context, huh? regardless of my present situation and my, my environment? You know, how do I do this? Well, we're going to look at these questions as we go through the sessions. If you join me on this little journey for four sessions now, we're going to do, we're going to practice simple hacks, tips and tricks, practice and experience them huh? on a sensing and feeling level. We're going to change our physical, mental, emotional states while working. Now, that's the goal. And possibly sh shape the way you think about your energy and your resilience and your self-image. Okay, so first of all, what we're going to do, I'm going to ask people a question. What inspired you to come to this training? That's the question. Just type it in the chat. What inspired you to be here today? You know, it can be one or two words. I'm going to read the chat. You know, I know it's going to fly, fly away. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, good, thanks. Curiosity, curiosity, need some encouragement. Oh my God, learn to relax, disconnect. So curiosity, curiosity, lifetime learning, oh, of course. Hope, oh yeah. Uh, Self-care, oh my God. Uh, curiosity to learn new things, inspiration, some motivation, please. Some well-being. I want to take control, that's what I like. To step down from work stress, of course. Mental health, that's for tomorrow. <laughs> um, change perspective, physical fatigue. Well, look. When we move through our bodies, when we um, experience things through our bodies, we are in actually affecting our, our mental focus and our emotional state. Huh? It's all connected. There's no, there's no difference between our metaphysical body and our physical body. We, we give and receive information. It's our operating system. I like to use the analogy that it's, you know, it's Windows 97, we want to update. Huh? It's an algorithm, it's the way we, receive information that we want to um, um, bring towards you know 2000, 2021 today okay find my resources motivation all of the above <laughs> inspiration wonderful second question what is the level of your physical well-being right now between one and ten let's give a numbers to this so like one is like oh my god you know i'm under the ground please don't i don't want to see anybody i don't want to speak i don't want to i don't want anything and ten is like i'm over the moon i'm fully engaged i'm fully uh connected okay so five six seven ten blah, 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 five three seven okay wow okay so i see some i see some high numbers there as well okay three okay pamela three okay so for people who are not a 10 for those who are not a 10 what would make the difference between your number where you are now and moving up one or two points one or two numbers to get to that moving towards the number 10 what would make that difference? Going to sleep, okay? Marion, <laughs> 11, why not 11? Better energy levels, more time to spend outside, more clear guidance, okay, going on holiday. Okay, but what's within, okay, let's, 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 let's look at this carefully now. Specifically, what are those things that are within your control that you can change immediately to move the needle further up to number 10, yeah? The idea behind this is, well, I have control. When we focus on what we're not, not in control of, it causes stress. Things that are outside our power, yeah, causes stress. We have anxiety about those things, projected in the future or, or, or remembering the past. Time to walk. Okay, so what am I seeing? Going back to the gym. Okay, so what am I seeing here is that um, if you focus on things that, that are within your control, you have a certain amount of power, okay? And that you know the answers. We know, we know what to do, but do we do what we know? Do we do what we know? 
can write that in the chat. Do what you know, or you just know things and you do something else. <laughs> okay, great. All right then. Well, let, let's just move on with this. Um, what physical change, my last question to you, what physical change would you like to experience at the end of this session? What physical, because we're in the physical session today, what physical change would you like to experience, wow, at the end of this session? We're only focusing on the positive things here. We're moving the needle up, yeah? Get relaxed, get relaxed, smile, okay, smiling. No clue. Thank you for being honest, MT. Okay, energy, relax, more energy, feeling, okay, energy, tips. Okay, tips, okay. Is that what you want to experience? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm weighing my words what you want to see, not what you want to hear or know, but what do you want to experience? This is an experiential session here, more than anything else. That's why I'm leaving the PowerPoint to the side. It's too much uh, back and forth. Feeling relaxed, more awareness, less tired, get into the flow. I need lightness. I need motivation. I need a surprise. And <laughs> I need a surprise. Give me a surprise then. More positivity. Okay, great. Well, let me just tell you about what we're going to do today very, very quickly. First of all, a full disclaimer, create your comfort yourself has nothing to do with comfort. Create your comfort yourself has nothing to do with comfort. It's about moving out of our comfort zone and expanding our comfort zone to be comfortable in any situation. That's the target. I wanna be comfortable, but I control my comfort. So I'm comfortable in any situation because I've practiced some things up, up front, yeah? It's learning how to recognize your power. And if we look at the definition of power, it's our ability to act. Power is our ability to act, yeah? We will be exploring and discovering more of ourselves and of our habit nature, what we settle for. Our default pattern, oh, it's okay, I'll go for the chocolate cake in the fridge, for example, think about myself so that we can better harness our energy on the four different levels. So we have physical, which is basically going through our bodies and our breath, the mental, which is more of appreciating our focus and how we focus and why we should focus. Yeah? Uh, emotional is more through the ability to connect with others in a meaningful way, yeah? to have this rapport and this, this uh, meaningful connection. Yeah? And on the level of drive, it's about our spirit. It's about our hunger and our thirst our desire for more in life, and why not? Huh? Today is focused on the physical, okay? And maybe just a little bit about me. Um, I'm a work performance facilitator uh, in everything I do, and kinesiologist. I, in everything I do, I help people raise their standards in uh, competence, communication, collaboration, um, satisfaction at work. Um, now, um, my former career, I've been a dancer, classical ballet dancer and, and modern dancer. And dancing gave me an experience of what is intrinsic motivation, in motivation coming from inside of yourself and persistence to continually remake and refine oneself and one's habits uh, according to whatever the environment is asking. Yeah? And the use of one's imagination and ability to take action. Yeah? That's what dancing gave me. Kinesiology, which is basically accompanying people through their stress, gave me an understanding of connection with my fundamental human needs. Fundamental human needs, gave me connection with that and how that has an impact on my physicality and my physiology, yeah? Also, um, it refines one's capacity to listen to oneself and support other people in the world. Um, so another important thing to understand before we get into the exercises, although I'm guiding you through this material today, I am not a great example of what you should be doing. I'm not the example of um, the skills and habits that one should have uh, uh, laid out in this training. I'm also dealing with, you know, stress, <laughs> working situations, confinement, um, and the inhibitions and vices that I have uh, with all the constraints of the environment and of the situation at this present time in, uh, in our lives, okay? Uh, lastly, uh, two fundamental principles I'd like to leave you with before we um, continue, go into the exercises and they're basically they're underlying the whole four session series and one of them is it's not just what we do it's how we do it it's not just what we say it's how we say it 
you know, the old expression, oh, it's not what they said, it's how they said it that really didn't, I didn't like so much. Well, it's the same thing with, with the way we treat ourselves as well. Our how is our intention, yeah? Our intention behind the action. It's the meaning that we give to what we're doing. It's our narrative, yeah? It's, um, it's our awareness, it's our sensing, feeling selves. And it's our philosophy of life. It's our, it's our formula. Huh? The how affects uh, what we do and it affects the quality of our results. So we've got to get into this how um, to really benefit from this session today. Um, the second thing I'd like to leave you with is a principle that I use a lot of the time. It is this, whatever we do, we practice and cultivate over time. Whatever we do, we practice and cultivate over time. Okay, so say for example, I have um, three cups of coffee, which I had today. Or I do this and I practice this, it becomes a habit and I cultivate this taste for coffee. But also I get results. So whatever I practice and cultivate, I get results, positive and negative results. Now, if my results are more negative than positive, well then it's up to me to change that. It's up to me to go back and find out, Leonard, what are you practicing that's causing what are you practicing that's making that happen? So what I mean to say here is the burden of responsibility is upon your shoulders. Gone are the days where we can go to the doctor and say, oh, yeah, um, I have this problem with my body. I don't know what it is or my physiology, my whatever, my sleeping habits. And uh, go to the doctor and they'll give you some medication and you can, uh, you can forget about changing your life. You don't need to change anything of what you do and how you behave. Just take the medicine and you'll be fine. We know it's a lie. This idea is, is, is not valid. It's no longer valid. We know now that we have to take control. We have to be more in power, empower ourselves, and take action upon, with, upon our lives whereby we can make tweaks and, and modifications. Of course, go to the professional when, when we need to. But it's all about prevention. It's all about our habits that we create every day. We'll go more into this perhaps in the other sessions as well. So that was uh, whatever we do. We practice whatever we practice. We cultivate and we get results positive and negative. So this tra training therefore presumes, assumes that you have the capacity and the willingness to self-reflect, to be self-aware, not just of what's your, what your thoughts are, but what's on your heart, what's in your body, now, what's in your gut and how your body is moving, and then to share. Sometimes, maybe not in this session, but the other sessions, we're going to have breakout rooms so we can share experiences together. Yeah. And then, of course, make changes in your behavior. That's very important, too. OK, so now we're going to uh, connect brains to bodies. I'm going to ask everyone to stand up, shake it out a little bit. We're going to connect our brains to bodies. We don't need the, the camera for the moment. Just shake it out. Shake the shoulders. Blah, 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 blah. Shake a little bit the head like our... Uh, like my Indian friends. <laughs> yeah, shake the shoulders, shake the hips, shake the legs a little bit as if you're gonna start running somewhere. Okay, great, fine. All right, everyone sit down. Great, good. Sit down, everyone, sit down. Come in front of the computer, turn your cameras on. Give me one hand like this. Give me a hand like this. Turn your cameras on and then make it a four. Okay, make it a four. Okay, connecting brains to bodies. Give me a hand like this and then make it a two like this, like an L, yeah? After the count of three, we're going to change this to a four and this to a two. Ready? Ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One. That's a six. Three. One, two, three. One. That's a five. <laughs> two, three. One, two, three. That's a ten. <laughs> one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. What's happening here? What's happening here? I see people laughing. I see people smiling. I don't see people getting frustrated. My question to you is, with what spirit did you embrace that challenge? It was a fun challenge, but what spirit did you bring with you to, uh, to embrace, to, 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 to master, or to, to do that challenge? Okay, playful, playfulness, playfulness. What else? Just to try, why not? Jean-Marie, yes, fun, humor, permission to fail, exactly. Openness, wow, oh my God, willingness and fun. I try, but the result's not important. Okay, the result is important, but the actual 
work is trying, huh? we have to try with a good intention. Back to the intention again, create this intention. And how would you bring this into your work? How would you bring this intention, this, this creativity, this curiosity, this openness, try no problem to fail. It's a mindset, huh? it's a paradigm. Uh, curiosity, fun, playing, no pleasure, cool. Uh, no, no pressure, yeah, uh, relax, op open mindfulness. Okay, no problem, Tudor. Okay, um, but listen, how do what we do? What can we do? What's our strategy for bringing fun into our work? Very important question. Ask yourself. Maybe write write a note down or two. What is my strategy for being cur curious, fun, for bringing all this um, this energy to my work? Huh? Or you can ask yourself, what is my strategy for being stressed? What is my strategy for really being upset again? For being tired again? What is my strategy for oh, shoulder ache again, back ache again, brain ache, migraine again? What's my strategy? Work it out. It's very important. So we have to look at this in, in, this, in this way. We're taking a meta position. What are we doing when we take a meta position? We stand up and we start looking at things from a higher position. And stay there. <laughs> we stand up, we go higher and we look down at ourselves, the, the constraints of what we have to do, the mandate of uh, the hierarchy, the difficulties with the people that we're working with and all the constraints of the of, uh, you know, deadlines and stuff, okay? We're taking this now, okay? So it's very important to, to understand this. Okay, so, what if you were to, just imagine now, what if you were to use this, this moment to take that energy and put it into your work for half a day? How, how, how much better would you bring energy into your work? We know the answers, but do we really do what we know? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna leave that question with you. And the first thing we're gonna do as an exercise is drink some water. You can see the time now, checking the time. Okay, we're at half an hour. Drink some water. Take a glass. If you don't have water, please do take a glass, get some water. We take five, we take um, maybe uh, 30 seconds to do this. Okay, cheers. Uh, prost, chin chin. How do we know that we're dehydrated? How do we know? Type it in the chat. How do we know that we are dehydrated? Tired, being tired, okay, feel thirsty, of course. Headache, yes. Pinching my skin in my hand because the skin goes down very slowly. Feel thirsty, thirst, tired, headache. Um, mouth is dry, mouth is dry, thirsty, headache, tired of skin, hungry, dizzy, 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 dizzy. Okay, I know too late. Thank you for being honest, uh, uh, Ulrika, yes. Uh, color and smell of the urine, okay. Feel thirsty, headache, okay. Okay, so if you know, what do you do? What, what is your behavior? Oh, wait. I'll go and get my coffee later. Coffee is dehydrating. Wait, wait, drink. Okay, good. Ignore it. Thank you for being honest. <laughs> we ignore it. It's very important. Hydration is, is, is thoroughly important, not only for your body and your muscles, but also your mind. Uh, when you feel stuck in your head, in your thoughts, rather, you know, you want to take some water and that will help you as well. Have another sip, and I want to show you this exercise. All right, I'm going to turn my, my screen. I want to see, first of all, how that works. Check my battery power. Okay, welcome to my place. <laughs> and uh, here we go. Let's see, I'm going to do it like this, maybe. There we go. So watch this. Everyone see me? Give me a thumbs up. Okay, good. Watch this. Okay. Write your impressions. What are your impressions in the chat? 1.5 liters of water is very good. Actually, we need two liters of water a day in general. Again, of course, depends how. A bird, a bird flying, flying, freedom, freedom, freedom. Oh, bird. Okay, relaxing, breathing. Okay, good. Okay, bird of prey. 
it's, it's a condo actually that I was doing. <laughs> better price. Well, it's not really a better price. It's a vulture condo. But okay, great, good. So listen, what does it take for you to surround yourself with inspiration? What does it take? And write down the answer. What does it take me to surround myself when I'm working with inspiration? Sometimes it's a question of putting a, a photo of the family, of someone you love, of someone who, who, who you admire or you're inspired by on the table next to you. We're talking about energy. We're talking about harnessing our energy here. And it doesn't really start. It starts in the body, of course, but it also starts in the mind. It starts with our imagination. It starts with our projecting something good for us rather than the habit of projecting something bad for us. Anxiety, or, you know, frustration. Yeah. Music, music. Okay. Clear on my mind. Okay. Noise. Okay. Great. you got all these ideas, all these ideas, and you can help each other as well by putting it in the chat. Yeah. Okay. Now everyone's going to do this together. We're going to do this together. You and I. Actually, I'm going to stay here like this. Sorry. Sorry for the making you dizzy. Here we go. You can stand up though. Everyone stand up. All right, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. As if you're going to start jogging. You're just warming up a little bit, warming up the metatarsals, you know, and the toes a little, shake it up a little bit. Okay, great. Super, 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 super. Wonderful. Now, we're going to do this together, all together. And up. Armpits. And allow it to go down gently, gradually. And up. And down. Okay. Keep the eyes on the horizon. Up. Don't forget, you know, these vultures, they fly very high. Huh? It's condors. And the hot air that's been rising. And up. Let's see if we can make this movement all together at the same time. Huh? And breathing in. Suspension. And float down, yes. And breathing in through the nose and float down. Very good, very good. One more time and breathing in. Let it be seamless. Imagine yourself flying. Yeah. <laughs> and going down, great. Okay, now just type in the chat. How did that feel? And be honest, be honest. We start with honesty. And then we know where we are. Huh? Then I know when I, where I am to light, relaxing. Okay. How else did it feel? Refreshing. More like swimming than flying. Okay, great. Why not? Looks like a little Tai Chi or Qigong. Ah, oh, okay. Liberating, liberating, reborn. Breath was, breathing was great. Huh? Swan leg. Why not? <laughs> Blondina. Okay. Less articulation, tightness. Okay. Okay. Well, that's, well, that's the truth. You know, I'm going to, Tell you something else. Disconnecting. Okay, disconnecting. Exactly. The question is here. Were you thinking about stress when you were doing this? Were you thinking about the frustration that you had earlier? Or that what you're going to project for next tomorrow, a meeting or something, or a deadline that you have to do? All of a sudden, our minds are focused on breathing and moving. Yeah. No stress. Billy Elliot, last scene. Why not? <laughs> yeah, I actually know the dancer who played Billy Elliot in the um, um I met him. I don't know. I know him through a friend. But I met him. Uh, um, well, whatever. Not important. Um, not nice to. Uh, not so nice to sit. Okay, great. Moment away from stress. Passed away, but flew away. Okay, good. So this is called the condor. Put it in your list. Put it in your uh, in your um, utility. As something you can do. Hidden behind this exercise, of course, is that is the latissimus dorsalis. Okay, it's a muscle that is attached to your hips at the back, and attached to your arms. It's the muscle that, you know, you see the V, the guys with the big muscles, they have a V, good, nice V. Oh yeah, it's also climbing. People use this for climbing. They have, they're very strong latissimus dorsalis muscles, this V here connection, amongst other muscles as well. And what does it do uh, when we're up like this? Well, our spines are long. Our head flies to the ceiling, the spine follows the skull, the shoulders go down like this and move upwards. They're moving. We're no longer in this position. I call this the, the dinosaur position. Hmm? Looking at the, the screen like this, or the maxi cozy position when we are sitting back in our chairs, ergonomic chairs, right? ergonomic, sitting back, we're relaxing, and then we just slop, we, we fall down. What we are educating our bodies to do is that. 
We're practicing that and we're getting results from that. So when we do stand up, when we do have to lift a heavy item of shopping or something like that, when we do have to twist and turn and rotate and be mobile again, well, it takes us that much longer. How many hours are you spending sitting down like this in general? Sitting down in front of the computer. Let's be honest now, 10, okay. Okay, Jean-Marie is a little bit of Elon Musk. <laughs> oh my God, Andrea as well, eight, more than eight, eight to 10, oh my God. I work standing, fantastic, Muriel. Okay, 12, okay, Marie, it's good. <laughs> that is Elon Musk, <laughs> he must be here. Uh, or the Secretary General, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> 16 hours a day, wow, okay. I mean, I work a lot of hours and I'm independent, I need to, but okay, I can see it there. Okay, so what position are you adopting? What position, what posture, what are you educating your body to do during those times? You imagine going to the gym for 16 hours, for 10 hours, for eight hours. Oh, you do a pretty good job on your physicality. That's what we're doing here. We're sitting down, we're doing these exercises. We were sitting, we're telling our bodies that this is good. This is how you work. This is how the brain works, perhaps. This is how we're very productive with our brain and our focus and our getting things done and organization and everything. But it's not very good for our bodies, okay? Sitting is uh, the smoking of our age. We know this. The science is out that it causes all kinds of problems with our physiology, our breathing, our, our circulatory system, our lymphatic system. I won't go into that stuff. Fat, but okay, yeah, that's why I got as well. I, I, I put on five kilos um, since working from home. Okay, but I got to do something about it. The responsibility is mine. So basically, okay, that's uh, one exercise. I'm going to show you quickly another exercise because I see time is flying by, okay? I'm going to turn my screen like this so you can see where I am. Um, I can move this stuff here. Let's see. Oh, stretching over the table. Okay. Let's see. How does that look? Okay, that looks good. All right. This is the next exercise. This one is called the lunge, the lunge, okay? And it's a, it's a backslide. It's a backslide lunge. And I'm gonna invite everyone to stand. We're gonna do this together. Make sure that you have space behind you, not a lot of space, but a little bit of space, where you can slide your foot backwards. It's a backsliding lunge, okay? I'm gonna use our chairs, the back of our chairs as a support. And by the way, if you have lower back problems, I suggest that you really take this very slowly and easily and don't push it. Yeah? And always use your breath, always use your breath, okay? Here we go. Uh, where am I? Okay, good. So here we go. And breathing out. And breathing in. Eyes on the horizon. Breathing out. And breathing in. Slowly, gradually, just like the condor. Breathing out. Breathing in. And breathing out, using the chairs as support. And breathing in. And last time, breathing out. I hope you've been changing legs, that's good. And breathing in. Okay, shake it out. How was that for you? Let's see it in the chat. How did that feel? First of all, good. Let's take some water as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Difficult stretching, yes. Stretching the psoas muscle and the, amongst the other muscles, just great, comfortable. Heart with knee problems, so really go easy. Not so easy, less comfortable. Thanks. Reminds me of to do more exercise. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> knee suffering. Okay, so this is uh this is where we are. You know, with each exercise, we can say okay. When we do it slowly, it's not an exercise to gain muscle, to strengthen yourselves. It does strengthen. And we do gain more sensitivity and, and, and more strength. But it's not an exercise for that. It's an exercise to find out where we are and to relieve stress. Okay? It relieves stress. And it's working on the psoas muscle, quadriceps, the, um, the hamstrings, ischial jambier. Um, amongst other muscles, the back muscles as well, okay? When we work with our legs, it's really good because our legs have the biggest muscles of our body 
and they um, we sit down on our on our legs all day. We cut ourselves off. Our lymphatic system is is reduced. Our metab metabolism also is um, is uh, not functioning as well. The way we uh, get rid of toxins, the way we ingest food, the way we uh, our, our blood flows. All this needs to be stimulated. And so working with the legs does this. I'm going to show you another exercise now. Yeah, here we go. Legs at a right angle, or knees rather, at right angle. I'm on the edge of my chair, yeah? I'm not like this. I'm using, I'm adopting a, a dignified position. Dignified position, I'm dignified. My head is flying to the ceiling, suspended by the ceiling. My spine is following the skull. My pelvis drops and drops, yeah? So I'm not collapsed, but I'm relaxed. So one hand is on the hip, rather, one hand is on the hip, one foot is forward, and the foot is flexed. Yeah. Here we go. And then one hand is like this, and reach forward, exhale, inhale. Ah, exhale, inhale. Again, exhale, inhale. And then change the feet, change the hand. The foot, that's the leg that's bent, my hand's on the hip. Same hand as the leg, the other hand is over the foot. The foot is uh, flexed, the leg is stretched. And exhale, inhale. You might find one side is more uh, stiff than the other. Exhale, but gently, 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 gently. Come up slowly and go down slowly too. All is grace. Inhale, inhale, and exhale, inhale. Wonderful. Wonderful. So write down in the chat, how was that for you? Excellent exercise, active and dynamic. It stretches your posterior muscles much easier. Okay, nice, nice. We're sitting down. We're sitting down. Okay, it hurts. Be careful. Go easy with the breath, always with the breath. You know, the definition of, um, or rather the wisdom of yoga is to unite the breath and the movement together. Yeah? So it's interesting. Movement without breath doesn't work. Uh, not talking about this chair, okay. Prefer, okay, office chairs, if you, have, if, you, if you have wheels, of course, you want to be able to support the chair. Huh? Um, okay, great. Great for Vegas nerve. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Vegas nerve. Also, if you do this with a little smile, with a little, ah, the same sort of uh, fun and enjoyment, perhaps, or karma one uh, that you had for the four and, four and the two, I, you know, you can, I can guarantee that you can get more out of the, uh, the exercise. Let's go to the next exercise very quickly. Okay. This is more of the same, uh, working with the legs again. But this time we're working on the piriformis muscle. Um, I think it's called the, um, in French, it's called the pyramidal du bassin. Okay, it's a muscle that doesn't really get a lot of um, stretching when we are, um, when we're sitting down. As I said before, when we're sitting down, we turn off, our muscles turn off after 20 minutes and uh, we adopt a position that we're using. Okay, so we're gonna ask ourselves to do a little bit more to be more uh, active and stimulate our muscles, okay? This one might be painful. And at the same time, if you think about breathing, with a little smile on your face, and you go through the exercise easily without trying to uh, get anywhere, just trying to do things, just try to do the exercise in a calm way, then it will work for you. Here we go. Okay, so first of all, I'm taking, I'm adopting my dignified position uh, let's see, where am I? Yes. And um, I want to put one foot over the other, over the knee, like this. Yeah. Now, for some people, it might be very, very difficult. For others, maybe very easy. I'm in between. One leg is tighter than the other. One buttocks is tighter than the other. <coughs> Excuse me. So the hand that's uh, along the knee, one hand on the knee and one hand on the ankle. 
yeah? And what we're gonna do is two things. We're gonna lift the spine up first. That's the first thing. And then send the spine forwards in space. Curve the spine over and then roll up. Lifting the spine, projecting the spine forwards in the diagonal, curving the spine, relaxing the head and the jawbone and the tongue in the mouth and then rolling up. And inhale, exhale, ah, roll up, inhaling, exhaling, ah, and roll up. And then slowly allow the leg to fall to the floor, shake the legs out a little bit. The other leg. One hand on the back, one hand on the knee. We're going to lift the spine, head flies to the ceiling, go upwards first, and then go over. Over, and then curve the spine, relax the spine, and roll up. Like a wave. Lifting, inhale, exhale, and relax over. Roll up, inhale, just like the waves crashing on the shore. Uh, exhale, one last time, inhaling, moving forward in space and exhale. Very good. And relax the leg. Shake it out a little bit. I'm good. Tell me in the chat, how was that for you? How was that for you? How did that work or not for you? Huh? Lower back pain, be careful. But do something about it as well. Do, oh, sorry, good. Uh, huge difference between left and right, yes, of course. Huh? Okay, gotta go to the gym, okay. That's depending on outside resources. You know, if you were to buy equipment, or one, start with one, or, you know, there's also this, I've got the name of it now, where you can work out by yourself without using equipment, using the chairs and tables that you have in your, in your apartment, good, or your house. Excellent, oxygen in the spine and body, okay, difficult in one leg, in, okay, uh, and on the back, or for the back, okay. Um, feels, uh, feels arm on side of hips. Okay, um, legs left. Uh, okay, so we're writing very quickly. <sighs> uh, pressure on one leg when bending, focus on breath and oxygen. Okay, warm, need to, need to go now. <laughs> very good. <laughs> okay, good. We've got 10 minutes left, and so we're going to go through these very quickly. Uh, I'm going to show you the teapot um, stretch and then the uh, self massage. And maybe if you have time, do the spiral as well. So we do all the planes the sagittal plane, frontal plane, and the um, horizontal plane too, okay? There's one concept that I like to leave with, with as well, and I'll start first. Um, and I'll show you it like this. Perhaps this is a better way of doing it. Um, if I do it like this, and I'll bring this chair here. Okay, so here I am sitting down now. And, <laughs> excuse me. <clears throat> I'd like everyone to cross their legs. Cross your legs the way you in your legs. Fold your arms, <coughs> excuse me, in the way you like folding your arms. Yep. Yeah? Okay. Um, now do this with your, as you're trying to understand what Len is talking about, you know, and then put your chest down, make it look deeper, yeah. And then put your chin on your chest. Mm, yeah. Keep the frown on your face, huh? And then take a deep breath. How easy was that? Put it in the chat. How easy was that? Okay, not arm warm. Okay, great. Difficult, terrible, impossible, almost impossible, difficult, not at all. Okay. Okay, blocked, natural. Okay, now, now, take a dignified position. Spine is long. Sternum is lifted slightly. No? Don't want a sternum like this. I'm dignified. No. Dignified is this, when you open the thoracic cage, yeah, and the back is open and flat, yeah. There we go. Just roll the shoulders up and down like 
How does that feel? Yeah, there we go. Okay, good. Now place the hands behind the head like this. Keep the elbows not like this, but really to the side. Yeah, the side of your ears. Wonderful. Keep the sternum lifted. Now take a deep breath. How does that feel? Raise your hand if it felt worse. Okay. Was it easier? Much better. Okay. Now for the second, okay, great. Natural, of course. It's a natural posture. It's our spine, okay. Now, put the hands behind the head again. Take the dignified position. Now, I'd like you to shout at the top of your voices. No one has their mic on, so it doesn't really matter. Leonard, I feel depressed. <laughs> I feel terrible. I feel frustrated. Yeah? Do you believe yourself? Right. What are we learning here? This is a cognitive dissonance exercise. If I hold myself like this, because of the good work that I do, because of my employment, because I studied like this and I was successful, and I got all my diplomas and masters and PhDs, I've done everything like this, what am I setting myself up for? Forget about the physical problems, what about the mental problems or the challenges, the limitations, yeah? Body-mind relationship, absolutely, absolutely. Posture matters. Whatever we feel, what we think about, our posture reflects this over time, yeah? We'll go into that in the, in the focus as well, okay? That's the, another notion that I'd like to leave with you. Let's get back to the exercises. Uh, we did the condor, we did the backslide lunge, we, did, we need to do the squat, the teapot exercise. I'll do this with you. Let's do this teapot exercise now um, very quickly. So I'm taking my dignified position. I'm not sitting back on, my, on the back of my ergonomic chair. I'm not sort of slumped either. Yeah, I'm up. Yeah, I use a, a new posture to get new results. Yeah, there we go. And so I'm going to take my hand above my head like this. It's like, it's like this, right here, yeah? just above my head. And then I'm going to lean over like the Leaning Tower of Pisa, without taking my, one of my sit bones, without taking one, one buttocks off the chair, and then I'm going to come back like a bamboo. Yeah? I might as well call this the bamboo. I called it the teapot in, originally because we were standing up doing this. And then stretching over. Inhale. And exhale. Bamboo bends with the wind and is resilient because it recovers afterwards. Yes, let's change the arms like a big steering wheel. Here we go, reaching over. Bamboo, gently, gently, gently. No stress, always with the breath, graciously, gradually, and with the wind, the breeze, not the wind, the breeze. The breeze is taking me over. Ah, and if you want for the third time, you can look up at the palm of the hand. Ooh, now this is really classical ballet. Ah, breeze. Keep the buttocks on the, on, the, on the chair. There we go. And then we open our arms. Ah, and we relax. Yeah? Very softly, very gently, we can do these exercises and they can enhance our vitality and our energy. And by the way, who feels uh, more tired now? Who feels more frustrated? Who's got more stress or frustration of what they're focused on? Okay? So just by a few exercises that you can find on, the, on Google, you know, you are very resourceful. I know you, you um, the people of the institutions are very resourceful. <laughs> so you can find the exercises. So I'm giving you just a little nudge so you can do what you need to find, the, the exercises that you have affinities with that you like a lot to do for yourself yeah, when you're working. Next exercise is the spiral, which is very simple. Our hands on our hips like this. Dignified position again, the head flies to the ceiling, the spine follows the skull, the, the pelvis drops and follows. And all we're gonna do is inhale and turn our eyes all the way as far as we can go, and then exhale, come to the center. And then inhale, turning the eyes all the way, if we can, to the back without stress, and exhale, always with the respiration, always with the inhalation, and inhale, in, when we inhale, we go up in space as well. And exhale. Ah. Inhaling, rising. 
with the hot air. Yes, and exhaling, very good. Okay, and just relax. That's the rotation on the, um, on the horizontal plane. Um, any questions, very quickly, 30 seconds, 30 seconds for question. The first one to ask, I'll answer, if I can. Okay, <laughs> it's pretty simple. Um, okay, let, let me move on then, and maybe as you're writing, uh, I'll come back to that. Now it's the, um, okay, do we get information for Thursday and Friday? It's the same invitation. Just use it for Wednesday. Oh, no, sorry, not Wednesday. Thursday and Friday, and then I think next week at some point, Monday or Tuesday, one of the two days. Uh, do you have an exercise for neck pain? Oh, well, look, this is the next exercise for neck pain, neck pain or rather for neck tension. Depending on the pain of your neck, uh, you may want to see a professional if it's very acute. If it's just tension, meaning a dull pain, then you can do things for yourself. For example, take a hot bath, hot shower, rub some ointment on it, take arnica, um, um, stretch, you know, just do these exercises, even for the legs. It has an effect on the rest of your body, on how your body is moving. We're sitting here in the Mexico a long time, for lots of hours. So we need to think about that and adjust your posture. Yeah. Okay, here it is. So we rub our hands together. This is a Darwin or Duin massage. It comes from there. Shiat, the Shiatsu practitioner would massage themselves before applying their techniques and skills on other people, other clients. Yeah. Shake the hands up. So let's see. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, let's start with the, um, with the jawbone. Yeah? So we press and turn, press and turn. Relax the tongue in the mouth. Ah. Ah. And, you know, find the area where it's sensitive and just apply a little bit more pressure there. See how that feels. Yeah? Ah. Ah. And then relax and sense the difference. Is there a difference for me? Sometimes you hold a lot of tension in our jaw bones. You're really angry. Do this. And so this helps just be aware of that and just relax the tension in the jaw bone. And this has an effect with your neck as well. Okay, next is of course the temple. Uh, we know this now. Huh? Just press with the pads of your fingers and turn and stir. Press and stir. Yeah. Taking the glasses off is good. <laughs> yes, now we're letting our hair down. Very good. That's the idea. And then in the other direction as well. Huh? It feels good. It should feel good. If it feels like if there's pain anywhere, maybe you're pressing too hard. Maybe. Yeah. And you want to go to the hairline as well. There's like for me, I get a real rush of relaxation there. Yeah. Take a few minutes to do this, you know, it's great, okay? Next, we're gonna to move to um, uh, the uh, ears, okay? So there are over 200 acupressure points, acupuncture points on the ears. All of them have correlations with all parts of your body. Okay? So massaging your ears not only irrigates the brain and stimulates blood circulation in this area of your body, but also through Chinese medicine, helps the rest of the body. So we're just gonna take our ears and just pull from the inside to the outside, inside to the outside, inside. Yeah. Inside to the outside, inside to the outside. Yeah. Yeah. Inside to the outside. Yeah. And if there's a part which is a little bit hard, a little bit sensitive, you can hang out there. You can, you know, be with that for a second and breathe at the same time. Think of good thoughts. A little smile on your face might help. Okay, great. Good. Now, sense the sensitivity. Yeah? Okay, let's do the other one very quickly. See that I'm, we're going to go over time, perhaps about seven, seven to 10 minutes, just to finish up very well. Yeah? Inside to the outside, inside to the outside. Yeah. Oh, it feels so good. It's almost like the body doesn't recognize it's you that's massaging. <laughs> it's massaging you. Oh, I feel so good, Leonard. Thank you. All right. Okay. All right. Good. 
Shake it out. Very good. And uh, okay, so we did the, what did we do? We did the jawbone, we did the temples, we did the ears. Now we can do the head, okay? Like this, this is called, I don't know, I think it's mountain tiger. So we just squeeze and release, squeeze and release, yes. Squeeze and release. We're irrigating the blood, all the capillaries, you know, all the blood circulation to the skull and also the brain as well, okay? Squeeze and release, squeeze and release. Squeeze and release, squeeze and release, squeeze and release. Okay, very good. We're gonna shake it out. And now for the shoulders, okay? Just like a massage therapist would, would help you, would, would do, would perform on you, you do it to yourself. One hand on the forehead, another hand like, like this, the back, squeeze and release. Squeeze at the back of your neck. Squeeze the neck massage. Squeeze, yeah. And on the sides, oh my God. Sternocleto mastoidian. Squeeze and release. You want to keep the breathing and nice and relaxed, you know? Okay, okay. And then swap over hands. Squeeze and release. Gently. We want to squeeze and release, squeeze with that, that amount of uh, intention. Uh, uh, right. Okay, great. Why the hand on the forehead when massaging the neck? Very simple, support. Uh, I mean, do it without, well, you can do it without, but here is a, a feeling of like you're being supported and you're being, you know, there's a frame behind you. There's a frame, there's, a, you know, there's something happening here. And also, by the way, in kinesiology, this is uh, the uh, liberation of emotional stress. And because our neck is very sensitive and it has a lot of stress, so it contains the muscle memory and uh, perhaps uh, uh, past uh, difficulties, uh, traumas, issues, challenges, it's good to release that as well. So you might have a little rush of emotion, which is fine. Just breathe through it. Yeah, it's all good. Okay, so we're going to finish now. It's at uh, 5.35. Um, on Thursday, we will go into um, our mental capacity, our mental resource, which is more focused on concentration and focus. Okay, and how does that work? And what do we need to do? Or how do we recognize and understand this in the best, best way to perform at work and at home? Okay, I hope everyone had fun. Thank you for your presence, for your participation. For those of you who put your cameras on, fantastic. I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, uh, see you on uh, Thursday, I hope. Okay, take care. All the best. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you very thank much, you. Bye -bye. Thank you very much. So you, thank you to all of you. I hope that you enjoyed. And in this very short session, we have learned a lot. It's simple. We can practice at home. Uh, we, are, we can do the, the, the small break. Huh? We don't need to go for the gym. Huh? It's, it's better to go for the gym, but no, the, the, the fitness club is, is are still open. No, not closed, not open. It will be open very soon. Yeah. Thank you. Bye-bye.